This video will focus on the benefits of digital light synthesis additive manufacturing and continuous light interface production in comparison to other common additive manufacturing processes. Stereolithography uses a laser to form the part from photopolymer resin as a platform moves down. Digital light processing uses photopolymers as well, but instead uses a light source to solidify single layers at a time as a platform moves up. Carbon 3D improved upon these two methods with their DLS and CLIP technology. Parts produced with SLA and DLP have notoriously inconsistent mechanical properties because of the molecular structure that results from their single layer printing methods. Because DLS utilizes continuous production, the resulting parts have better and more uniform structures, therefore producing more consistent and predictable mechanical properties. Here's how DLS and continuous liquid interface production work. Light from an LED light engine projects a sequence of UV images, exposing a cross-section of the part, causing the UV curable resin to partially cure in a precisely controlled way. Oxygen passes through the oxygen permeable window, creating a thin layer liquid interface of uncured resin between the window and the printed part known as the dead zone. The dead zone is only a third of a human hair layer thick. In the dead zone, oxygen prohibits light from curing the resin situated closest to the window, thereby allowing the continuous flow of liquid beneath the part. Just above the dead zone, a UV light projected upwards causes a cascade-like partial curing of the part. Printing alone does not produce the end part with its desired mechanical properties. A secondary curing process bakes the part in a thermal bath or oven, which sets the mechanical properties by triggering another chemical reaction. This then causes the material to strengthen, achieving the desired final properties. This technology opens the door for mass customization on demand, simplifies complex assemblies, and is capable of printing otherwise unmoldable parts. This can be applied to various industries, aerospace, industrial, automotive, consumer, medical technology, you name it. Stop prototyping, start producing. This video was brought to you with the help of Carbon 3D content.